No niin, nyt. Löytyy. Joo, sitä mä et se löytyy nopeammin. Tsemppiä! Totta kai. Jos keretään tajuta, ei se kun me niin kovaa. Hyvä Marko! Paina, paina! Mene, mene, sä oot eellä! Hyvä, hyvä! Markon saat vielä kiinni, kun vähän kiristät! Yhtä aikaa maalin tossa sitten. <laughs> Tiukka kisa. <laughs> no miltä No miltä tuntui loppukirja vetää? Ei irronut. Ei oikein lähtenyt. Ei <laughs> Vai? Kyllä kaverilla on kiinnostunut paremmin. No, niin, saiko se kiinni sut? Ei salosti tuolla, että go go, kun me ohitin sen. Niin. Niin se sai siitä voimaa nyt sitten. <laughs> Can we get a Brian? Brian! 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 Bring it home, Brian! Bring it home! Oh, here he goes! Here he goes! Yeah! You guys are awesome! Oh, that's the ball!
We are now approaching the bottom of Massey Avenue. At the other end of Massey Avenue are the gates of Stormont. As Stormont are working part of mid-buildings, there will be a very brief security check here on the bus. However, folks, it is nothing to worry about. Given innocent smiles, you will be fine, I do promise. Or if you do happen to be a little bit more suspicious looking, just think down and tie your shoelaces or something like that. Well, folks, after a very thorough security check, we're now inside the grounds of Stormont Estate. Gardens out to your left-hand side are known as the Garden of Reconciliation. Stormont's sited on approximately 407 acres. The building is exactly 365 feet wide and has 365 windows, one for each day of the year. And then the court credit union will be coming up on our left hand side here. Little blue frontage to that building, also plaque on the front of it. That is where the Shankle bomb went up in 1993. Nine innocents were to lose their lives. And now it's the 780, well it's roughly 780, can't quite remember, I think it's 778 men that came from this area. The fight at the Battle of the Somme, only 72 of them were to return. So that's under 10%. area on the main marching route tend to get new flags at this time of year. Go and visit some of the other unionist areas in Belfast that weren't on the main marching route. You'll see that their flags are much, much older. Now the guy who owns the castle also owns the uh, salmon company. Oh. And apparently he's single. Alright. Yeah, so he's an Irish millionaire. Any ladies are interested, let me know and I'll pass your details on to him. How old is he? I don't know. I don't think he's that old. I think he's, I think he's still like he's in his 50s. I don't think he's that old. Is that too old for you? I mean, also a bit How younger, do you? Is he worth? Uh, several million. I can make deal. Can, can you make deal with that, right? Any port or storm, eh? <laughs> right, girls, there you are. Down there to the left. Now, there you go. And I'm going to have to travel a bit further than I want to because that car part there. Home. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, yeah. On the kindest room, we all do a big together and then we can suck the sides of the coach in. Do we have to do it together, folks, or we get stuck and then we're in trouble? Bigger than us, come on. Okay, you ready, folks? One, two, three. <gasps> and breathe. Well done, folks. Well done. I was expertly breathed in. Go oh, here, that was in an accident as well. Yeah. And we up here in the north say he didn't visit Dublin, he visited no. the Glens of Antrim. And that's why he was inspired to write the song. Talking. 
Dat is cool. Thank <laughs> you. 